There is a place in the woods that harbors a terrible evil. An ancient forsaken that governs nature itself. And he must be stopped. Today's the day that I take on yet another boss in this game. I went ahead and set up this nice little shack out here in the middle of the, the dark forest here, the black woods that I'm in. Got some carrots growing. Actually, these are carrot seeds at the moment. I did actually do a harvest already. And uh, I'm living uh, I'm living pretty fine. I moved all my stuff over here. I even found a queen, uh, queen bee out here in the woods in one of these stone uh, structures, actually. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but I got a nice little place here. It's kind of packed. It's a little, little tight, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm out here basically because this is where I'm going to be building and I want to get to work on my treehouse And I'll get to work on doing that probably in between episodes here because that's going to take some a lot of creative building And I don't actually really know what I'm doing at that at, at the moment, but I'm brewing up some poison resistance This is my second batch. I got my fermenter going up there got a forge out here and everything so I got I can repair my stuff But I also have 120 fire arrows. I mean, I think I have some more someplace. Where are they? They're in one of these chests here someplace something I got something where are they there? They are I got some more right there I think that should be enough to take take down the elder. Uh, I'm going to probably be fighting him by myself because I don't really have any need for uh, for people to uh, join me on this one. That's a pretty easy boss. In fact, I can probably take on all the bosses by myself to be honest. Uh, not right now, obviously. I'm still wearing just bronze gear. Uh, making some extra wood arrows here just to take care of any regular little guys that come along the way. But uh, I'm going to grab, I have an extra bow here, it's kind of lower quality one, but I'm going to grab that and throw that in my inventory too, just in, in the event that I should need it, because I'm going to be out there um, shooting a lot of arrows, so if I run out, I'm going to need that. Alright, so let's go ahead, I just need to beat him once really, because uh, I don't need to hang the head up on this on the stands uh, at spawn, because people have already done that. So let's go face the Elder. I got my portal set up and moved over here, uh, so I'm actually doing pretty good. Alright, my... Really only contribution to the server right here is the, the portal hub, and it's looking nice. A lot of people are using it. A lot of people have their bases. I think the bottom row is completely full. No, no, there's one spot down there at the bottom still. So people could still move in. But up here I saw a sign that said the Elder. I think I'm gonna go fight that guy. Now I really don't intend on dying, so uh, I wonder if I should claim a bed, just in case I do though. Uh, I'll break that as I, before I leave, though. Now, I don't know... Uh, I don't know what this place is. I don't know what people have got set up out here. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just following the icon on the map. It is turning nighttime. That should be exciting. Uh, I could wait until daytime. Somebody did request not to sleep, but I think I might wait till daytime, just because if I start sleeping mid-fight, that's going to suck. So, yeah, I'll wait till daytime. A few moments later... Oh, can't wait any longer. Hold on one second. We got We got some company. We got a troll here. Troll taken care of. There's also a skeleton over here. So much stuff. And sure, brute, why not? Should I grab all the coins? Hello, brute. Alright, brute taken care of. Now I'll wait till morning. Alright, it is morning, the meat is cooked. Let's get on into this fight here, because I really want to kill this thing and get access to those swamp crypts, because uh, I'm going to need some uh, I'm gonna need some iron if uh, I'm going to build a big tree house. I'm also going to need some iron to make the stone cutter so I can actually do things like pads and stuff like that. So let's, uh, let's just get to it. Bam, let's do this. Good hits on them right off the bat. Let's try to get away from these guys. And let's start lighting them on fire. Let's 
Ooh, that was a good hit. Let's eat some food real quick. Doing this roots thing, gotta move. Salmon is gonna be a real issue. I think he sees me. Pretty sure he sees me. He's chasing after me. Must want to do this stomp. Keep lighting him on fire. That damage over time do its work. Get out of there before those roots just whip me to death. Let's recover a little bit of stamina here. Keep on hitting them with those arrows. Yeah, I think he's easy. He's a grrrr. Let's go over here this time. Care of the deer while I'm over here. Oh, need some stamina again. In fact, let's go ahead and activate this thing so I can run around without wasting my stamina as much. Just gotta get out of here because those roots are coming. That's pretty menacing. I do like the redesign that they did on this guy. First time I fought him, he still had the old design on him. I think he's standing in the fire. Oh, no, no, that was my fire hero. So I was like, is he standing in the fire in the center of the stage? That's pretty funny. Kind of looked like it for a second. And he's coming this way. Nope, we're just going to keep on running around here. Excuse me, Seagull. Light him on fire, let him just burn down. What's he shooting at, dude? I'm over here. He's like, ah, I thought you were on that other pillar. And dead. <clears throat> Goodbye, Elder. Give me that key. I need that. <laughs> With this, I'll have access to the swamp. Yeah. With this, I'll have access to the swamp. And I got the Elder Trophy as well. And that'll give me, uh, give me access to iron. And that's kind of a big deal. So let's get back to the Black Forest. With the Elder defeated... We can go ahead and actually get into the swamp now. So I fill up this chest here. I had like some food in it actually, but I filled it up with stuff I'm gonna take with me. Um, this should allow me to build my boat and have a little bit of wood uh, on hand so that I can uh, I can actually get around to like building a little shelter and whatnot. But plus I can put down a deerskin rug and actually, uh, you know, have a little comfort while I'm over there. My goal here is to get over to the swamp. Uh, oh, I need one more for uh, for campfire. Uh, my goal here is to get over the swamp and uh, and actually set up a little base. Now the swamp itself is, uh, let's let's look at the map here. The swamp itself is this one right over here. Now there's there's planes and stuff here, so I'm gonna have to try to aim like right smack dab in the middle. I think there's some mist lens and stuff over there. It's gonna be kind of dark and difficult to see. But good news, I actually do have a base set up over here now, so I can actually live here. This is where I settled, by the way. I settled on this little southern end of this forest here because there's a reasonably flat area. Oh, by the way, I've been doing some work on the uh, on the treehouse for the competition, and this is all I got so far. Wah! <laughs> okay, so I got a lot of it actually built. As far as this building, I kind of was thinking about doing multiple buildings, but check this out. I got a nice little uh, staircase here that leads all the way up, a little spiral staircase leading all the way up to where the treehouse itself is, and there's nothing much up here yet. It's a nice little view here looking out over the Black Forest, which looks cool. But there's nothing really here yet. This is really just a building. Oh, and I gotta finish this part here. I never got around to it. So it's not completely finished, but you can also just sit on this log and stare off into space. Um, but I gotta decorate this, obviously, make it look pretty. And plus, I wanna add more buildings. I have been throwing some wood in here, too, for decorating as well. But yeah, I gotta add more buildings, and I'm planning on doing, uh, I'm kind of planning on doing the, the bottom part here too, the ground. I want to jazz up the ground a little bit. I don't want to just leave it like this. I mean, I do want to leave a lot of it like this, actually. I like how it looks. It fits into the landscape really nice, so. Uh, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it 
Uh, I'm just gonna have to do a lot of decorating on this place to really make it pop. Plus, like I said, I kinda wanna make more buildings up in the trees. I think that'll look pretty cool. Uh, got my little carrot farm going here. Got the bees, the bees are happy. The carrot farms are growing, the carrot seeds are growing, I mean. And I just built this real fast here. This is just a shack, uh, and this is simply a portal room. Okay, and this is gonna be a, an area for me to put some, put, eh, put down some portals, if I can talk. <laughs> And, uh, and so this one's labeled G Swamp. Okay, so this is the one that we're gonna want to connect today. So we got to get up to, or we got to get uh, rather down to uh, down here and go sailing across. Now I'm wondering. I think going down might actually be quicker. I was gonna. I also built a bridge like up here, crossing this river to make it easier to get across. So I can go up here and grab resources from all of this area up here, and then easily get across here without having to just jump across the water or swim, swim across the river and jump in the river. But all right, let's get my uh, let's get my rested buff maxed out here, and then we're gonna head to the southern part down here. Probably I'll probably run diagonal down to here, and then we're just gonna beeline it for that. Hopefully we don't see any serpents. I guess I could grab some better arrows if we do. Uh, they're in one of these chests. I'll find them. There, there. Well, I don't have a lot of them. Yeah, I'll just make regular wood arrows. All right, let's get the boat in the water here, and we'll get sailing again. Back to the sailing I go. Whoops. <laughs> Let's repair that real fast. Tear down the, uh, this, and then we'll get on our way. Now, I do need to get over in this direction here, so I gotta head southwest primarily, and it looks like if I do that, the wind just changed, actually. Is the wind gonna cooperate, or is it gonna be a pain? It might be kind of a pain. Eh, no, we can work with this. All right, so here we have planes directly south of my island here, so it's not, those are my planes right there. That's not exactly what I wanna find. I'm looking for a swamp. Need to find a swamp. All right, so it looks like the swamp is up ahead. We're struggling to keep the wind out here, though, because it's kind of right at the bad spot. Now, this this should be a pretty large swamp, so I'm going to try to find a place where I can get kind of in the middle of it. Now, I think there was a mist lens, actually, right in the middle. Now, that would be an ideal place to actually set up a base, since there's really no enemies there. Um, if I remember on my trip out here, there was actually a mist lens smack dab in the middle of this. There's some right there, but I don't think those are the ones I'm thinking of, unless they are, in which case... Maybe I'm confused. Uh, but I think that if I keep following this coast, I'll find another mist lens there. Yeah, I can see the tall trees up there. Uh, and that might be where I try to set up shop. Yep, right there. Because then I can easily access the swamp from there. So it, I know it's going to be a little dark in there, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get some campfire down. Or I'll get a campfire down or some torches or something. Hold up one second. I'm not seeing any trees or anything in that area right in front of me. Is that a plains? Because that would be a bad thing. Oh, it's getting really dark. That is a plane. That's a bad thing. Never mind. Abort the mission. We're not. We're not setting up there. We're not setting up there. I do want to set up kind of in the swamp though, someplace because, uh, yeah, I can't. Oh god. Oh, there's a dragger right there. I didn't even see that. Ooh, he is a. It's a bow and arrow one. I did not even notice him. Okay, so yeah, don't set up near dragger. Okay, so now my boat's injured. Uh, I, hopefully it's all right. Good thing he didn't hit me. To be honest, that would have been really bad. Um, let's see if we can find a place here in the swamp that doesn't have. Uh, that's not close to the plains. That doesn't have a bunch of draugr set up uh, set up on it. And uh, yeah, this one right here, this big patch of swamp right here, I think will be good. Now there's plains farther to the left of it, so this is gonna be a little rough. But let's see if we can just find a small patch of land to set up, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay, to be honest, I think right here might be our best bet. There's a lot of skeletons and leeches and stuff, so I got to try to get off the boat quick and get over there. Leeches are coming after me now, and I ha all I can do is paddle because I'm going into the wind. Let's see if we can't just run her right ashore. It's going to be a little risky. There we go. Alright, step, first step. Crafting bench. Slap that bad boy down. Second step, defend yourself. All right, leeches are underneath the boat right now, but that's okay. I'm going to just... Oh, there's a blob coming. Okay, we got another issue. I should have grabbed some of those poison resist potions. I have them made. I don't know why I didn't grab them. Oh, there's another blob. Okay, this could be sketchy real fast. Oh, out of stamina. That's not good. Don't jump up here, please. We jumped out. That guy's trying to jump up here. Okay, one blob down. I need these blobs to go away. There we go. Blobs are gone. Let's get... Oh, a dragger. Dang it. Okay, good, good, good. Took him out. Alright, now can I please get to putting down... 
a foundation of some kind. I'm gonna have to clear out these ancient trees. Oh, I just not took out my own crafting bench. All right, let's clear out these. Uh, let's clear out these ancient trees real fast. Would like to collect that, but I just rolled into the ocean, so I'll probably just let that go. Somebody did ask for no sleep, and somebody is currently sleeping, so apparently people are not paying attention to the chat. Alright, so let's get a small shelter going right here, a place to actually put down the portal. Okay, it's getting really dark here. You probably can't see anything, so I'm just going to build, and I'll let you know as soon as I get some light down what happened. Okay, so I got a bunch of enemies down there. I haven't actually killed anything, but I did kill a, an oozer just now. I also realized I don't have enough stuff to make the dang portal, so I do have to sail back to go get it. I'm such an idiot. I need to get uh, certling cores and... Uh, see what I think I'm missing? Uh, Grey Dwarf Eyes. I didn't grab those. I'm such a moron. So I gotta clear these guys up, and I only have 60 some arrows to do. Oh no, like I got smart. I got 88 arrows to do it. The blobs are what I'm really concerned about. The skeleton, I'm not yeah, as concerned about, but I need to take care of these blobs. One blob down. I also want to see if that oozer dropped a, a piece of scrap iron. Wouldn't that be great? I could bring that back. Okay, blobs are taken care of, finally. Skeleton, get out of my house. Uh, blob trophy. No, he did not drop some scrap iron. That's unfortunate. I do want to get rid of these leeches before I try to get out of here as well. Okay, well the coast is somewhat clear. Let's get out of here and go get, go get the correct uh, amount of materials this time. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that. All right, made it back to the dark forest. Uh, now just to go grab the stuff to actually make the portal. Like a moron, forgot that. Uh, shouldn't be a problem running back there. Whew. I was just happy I didn't run into a serpent along the way. I really am not prepared for those things yet. Alright, everything becomes so much easier once you're actually prepared. <laughs> Alright, let's get back in the boat. Sail on over there once again and put down this portal. I also grabbed a little bit of extra wood too. Oh, the wind is directly in my face. It's weird. It says that the wind is directly in my face on this, but on the... Does that match what's happening on the... Oh yeah, it does match what's happening on the mini-map. Never mind, it's totally in my face. Uh, Alright, so this is going to take a little bit for me to get across, I guess, because now i got to deal with the wind fighting me. Hmm. Alright, at a brisk paddling pace, I am finally approaching my shelter that I had set up here, that I got started at least and didn't finish. Um, at least I'll be able to get the portal down this time. Let me get in here and actually do that, because that was a big whoopsie. Um... Let me see if I can't turn this thing around, actually, so I can get out of here quick. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go right at it, because I'm going to be portaling back anyway, right? So let's just go for it. Because um, I'm going to have to pick this stuff up. Alright. We're here! Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and close this in completely, actually, because I don't want to get killed. Let's put the door in here first. I like these bigger doors. It actually makes me feel like I'm walking through a normal-sized door. Uh, let's close this in completely so that at least that way it keeps all the terrible stuff out. And uh, let's get to putting down this. I think I hear some kind of ooze or something. Yep, I do. Uh, we're going to call the... Or was it? It's G-Spawn. Or uh, G-Swamp. There it is. Bam. Got it. All right. Let's work on actually enclosing this off so that these terrible things don't jump in here. I do need to get my poison resist potions for sure. Uh, I hear multiple ones around me, actually. That's great. I think they're on top of my building. Which means they might be trying to come in. Let's just get through the portal quick. <laughs> they might be trying to jump in the ceiling, because I don't have that completely closed off yet. Let's go get these poison resist potions, actually, and then come back. Because then if they poison us, I mean, at least it won't be a terrible, terrible thing. All right, looks like the portal linked up correctly. Let me grab these supplies and then get right back out there. Ah, yes. Shower me in poison resist potions. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh, I think they're still here. Let's actually drink one of these things real quick, just in case they do hop in here and it turns into a brawl. Um, put that right there. And that one right there. That should keep them out. Thinking. That should keep them out. 
All right, let's uh, let's try to organize this a little bit, make this a little bit more cozy, and then uh, and then we'll start exploring the swamp. They're pushing the logs back. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, you can poison me all you want. Haha, <laughs> I got my poison resist on. All right, sweet. Well, the leeches can go also because I don't really need these guys here. I know that if you hit these guys once, they tend to run away. Although these guys seem to be a little bit more persistent. Thanks, because I need your blood bags then. I will gladly take them. Alright, let's collect some of this ancient bark then, since these are kind of in the way. Ooh, I gotta be careful not to swim here. I'm uh, almost out of stamina. Alright, let's get this while there's no leeches around. And I do need to build, I guess, a little bit of like a porch or something in front of this, because uh, it kind of just drops off right away. That way, at least I don't run out the door and just immediately fall. Now, this doesn't need to be too perfect. In fact, that's good. I just need something to keep me from going off into the water. Now, I do need to break down my boat, too, so let's get to doing that while I have a second apiece here. Oh, someone's fighting bone mass right now. Interesting. Oh, yeah, entrails. I forgot I killed that uh, that guy earlier before. Sweet entrails. I could actually make uh, sausages. How, how cool would that be? How fun would that be? All right, now I do need to get also, before I get too far into this, let's knock this out right here. And that's actually going to lead right to here, which sucks. Hold on one second. I might have to rearrange my area just a bit because things could totally, like, blobs could jump on this and then jump right over. That's not really what I want to do. How much wood do I have? I got some. Let's see if we can't uh, at least make this look kind of decorative nice. Now, I do need a... I need to move this for one because I need to put the, the fire on the other side. So let's see if we can't smash the bed in right here. Can we? No. Can we? Can we do this? It's gonna be a tight fit. Let's let's move this thing out of the way. Um, oh, I know. I can put the bed right on the table. Makes sense. Oh, I need the crafting bench. <laughs> Makes sense. Bed on the table. Sure. Why not? I'll sleep up there. Hey, it saves space. You know, it's, it's elevated off the ground. So I don't I don't uh, you know get like a fungus foot or something from the swamp. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm adding the, the, the campfire because I need uh, I need that to get my resting buff in here. Let's turn that that way. And then uh, just for the sake of having an excuse why it's being propped up or how it's being propped up, we're going to do that. Even though it doesn't really need it. Um, what am I doing for wood here? Okay, I got 21 pieces, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and get the campfire put in. And make sure we put a cooking rack on there just in case we can actually get something to cook. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're good. Now, storage, a little spot for storage to put uh, like wood and s some extra food in maybe. Right there. Now, it is crammed in here, I know that, but uh, that's okay because this is just just a temporary place. It's just where we go to get our, our comfort level maxed out and uh, our comfort uh, up here and shelter from all the terrible things in the swamp. This is a fob, this is our swamp fob. I know it's not much, but it works. But now I need to get to exploring this place. Um, I'm going to actually leave a little bit of food here in case bad things happen and I spawn back here. At least I have food uh, that I can eat to make a mad dash to my place. Um, as well as maybe a poison resist potion. Why not? All right, I'm going to go dump off the supplies that I have right here uh, back at the base real quick. And then we're going to start exploring the swamp. All right, everything is stored. I wouldn't mind making a couple extra arrows, so we're gonna do that before we head into the swamp. Still using wood arrows, they should carry me pretty far, but I'm gonna settle with 98 of them, that should be fine. All right, let's get into the swamp here and see if we can't find some good stuff. Um, I'm looking for a crypt, okay? I really need to find a crypt. There's, there's stuff everywhere now already, look at this. I gotta deal with these guys from a distance because I don't have my, uh, my uh, poison thing up and running, which I'm gonna activate though, just in the event that they get close, which they are. All right, we're gonna melee this guy. Poison me all you want. I I, I drank my potion. All right, those uh, those oozes that they drop now seem to have a little bit more of a use though. Like they they have like some kind of like milkshake thing you can make with them. It looks like so that could come in handy. Uh, I'm looking for ooh, there's there's some Draugr over there. It looks like to the left, but I do want to get some of that guck, and I also mainly just want to get to a crypt. I really need to get to a crypt. Um, I thought I saw something blue and floating over there, like that might be a, a wraith, but I'm not too sure, because I wouldn't mind getting one of them too. I mean, that's a, that's a chain. 
get my bow and arrow because let's be real that's what i'm going to be using this whole time i'm in here the elder has awoken somebody's fighting the elder let's see if i can't take out this draugr go collect his gubs hopefully there's not another one behind him i think there might be though there's one over there i do need to collect some entrails so i'm going to be trying to sneakily take out some of those guys so i can get some sausages up running that is not that is not what I'm looking for. I think that's a captain dude right there. Oh no, it's just a regular one. That's not a. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for though. So I'm just going to steer clear of that. I got to be careful when I'm in the swamp. I also would like to find some turnips. Now I believe they ha they found those and they have them at uh, at spawn. But I'm not. I'm trying not to take those. I want to find them on my own. Uh, so turnips would be a good thing to find as well. That looks like the plains. Let's just go this way. I didn't want to roll there. I wanted to jump, but it just didn't. Take out the one in the back. Oh, the one in front hurt him. Ooh, got him. Alright. I was hoping the one getting taken on back meant that meant that the one in front wouldn't uh, wouldn't have hurt him, but that was not the case. Alright, so can I go read this thing and add it to the the thing? Yeah. Alright, now I don't I don't know if there's any treasures in these things. Do you guys know the comment section? I need to know these things because I'm at one right now. Ooh, that's fullings I hear. Yeah, I can't really deal with Draugr's too well right now. Later on, I will be able to... Is there not a crypt in this entire swamp? I'm, I'm kind of running out of areas to look. Like, up, up here is my last little spots. There better be at least one crypt. I built an entire shelter here. If there's not, um, there is another crypt, another swamp, like, here that I could go to and check, but I can't... Oh, there's, there's a whole bunch of these spawners, though. You know what? I, I should actually take out some of these things because... Um, I don't need to do it. Oh, that's it. That guy's got an arrow. Oh, that guy's got an arrow, too. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Let's get some stamina back here. And run and jump. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, got one of them down. The other one is still on me, though. Oh, dodging arrows. Using that tree as cover. Okay, he's dead. Oh. There's a thing that'll let me know where Bone Mass is. Now, I'm pretty sure I know where Bone Mass is. Let's see if I can take that out from here, though. Alright, I think I got it. Let's get in there and check where Bone Mass is. If there's a closer one nearby here. There is north of here. Nifty. I'm going to cut across the water here, which could be a little risky. Because the leeches... But I don't see, one, I don't see any turnip seeds, and two, I don't see any crypts in this entire swamp. That is really unfortunate. Oh, there's there's a shack. There's a shack with Draugr's in front of it. Draugr's dead. Anything in here? Nothing. Okay, there there's nothing here. Dang it. Alright, that means that uh, I'm going to have to uh, find another swamp. All right. Well, I guess I'm collecting some ancient tree, our ancient tree bark, because I didn't find anything else in this swamp. The only thing it's good for, it seems, is just the Draugr spawners. That is really unfortunate. Oh, hey, skeleton! I actually hit a. Oh, there's something there. Oh, that's a skeleton. I actually hit a leech with that with that block or with that falling log. I can't believe I found the only swamp that doesn't have anything in it. Seriously, not even turnip seeds. Alright, well, Guck is something I need to collect, so let's see if I can't grab some of that while I'm here. At least get something before I head out of the swamp. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I'm going to get out of that tree. 15 Guck. I don't even know if that's enough to make the stuff I want out of it. I really would like to just grab it for future reference for when I get around to making my Draugr Fang. Better than nothing. But this this uh this whole adventure was pretty much a bust. It's kind of a shame that I wasn't able to find even a single crypt in this huge swamp here. I, I find that hard to believe. Like it's kind of bonkers. But let's uh let's at least kill some Draugr and uh, I got my Guck, and we'll uh, we'll have a sweet consolation prize, I guess. Got him right in the face. All right, let's work my way back to the shelter and get out of here. I think I'll call this one an episode though because this was a big big bust. So. Sorry this wasn't anywhere near as exciting. I was hoping to do some crypt diving and whatnot, but it looks like that's not going to happen. I, I will continue to explore and try to get some iron. At least you guys got to see the treehouse. That was kind of fun, huh? And we got to beat the Elder. So I guess we did do some stuff in this episode. 
Alrighty guys, I'm going to call it here though, so thank you so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back in the next one. Thanks again for watching everybody, and bye bye Stupid swamp. <laughs>